Hi, welcome back. Certainly glad to see you today. This is the last show of the 20th series, so I'm very, very glad you're with us. Tell you what, let's start out today and have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with us at home. While they're doing that, let me show you this crazy thing I got going up here today. <laughs> I've taken my plain old canvas, and this being the last show, we were a little silly here today, so we thought we'd just play. I've taken a little bit of tape here and taped a little here, and then I've just I had some contact paper left over, and I've just covered a couple of areas. And I thought we'd do something, hmm, so let's say, it's the last show, so let's, let's just have some fun. Let's start out today with the old two inch brush, a little touch of the phthalo blue. Just a small amount, a little phthalo blue. Let's go right up in here. Maybe we'll do two paintings at once today. How is that? Might as well have a little challenge. Have two paintings at once. Uh, let's do one in, summer and one in winter. How's that? One in summer and one in winter. That'll be a challenge off the same palette. That'll give you some experience with both seasons. Just, it'll make things nice for you. Let's add, oh, we got that blue going there. I'm going to put the least, least little touch of the phthalo green into it. Just the least little touch. Don't want much. Now I've got a little line taped right here and I want to stay on the right side of that line. There we go. Don't want to contaminate these two if it's going to look like two different paintings. I think I'll have it looking like one painting is laying on top of the other one. All right. We'll just try that and see if it works. If it doesn't, we've had a good time anyway. I've certainly enjoyed being with you. There we go. Now then. Tell you what, I have several brushes going, so let me grab another one here. Now. I'm going to go into the least little touch of the Indian yellow, just a very small amount. And maybe on this one, I have a little touch of yellow right here in the sky. Just a little bright spot. And, 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 we'll go without cleaning the brush, go into a little bit of bright red. Just let it blend together. Right up to that little piece of tape. Don't want to go across it, don't want to contaminate. There. Now then, maybe we'll take a little blue and a little lizard and crimson, and we'll make us a little lavender color. Now we can do that right on the brush. Just mix it on the brush. What the heck? And come right in here, and we'll add a little bit of that in there. Just have fun and enjoy. There we are. And maybe just a little blue over here. All right. And then down here, just pull across. Like that. All right, let me wash the old brush here, getting too many of them dirty. Shake off the excess. <laughs> and cover everybody in the studio. You don't have to be crazy to do this, but it does help. Now then, we'll just blend this all together. Make sure the brush is good and dry. If it's not, it'll thin your paint out and it just doesn't work too well. Wash the old brush off again. Get it as clean as I can. <laughs> and dry it off and very lightly here. Add a little touch of the titanium white. I want to make this very bright, like this is our light source. Start with the white and the light area and work outward. There. That just takes off any excess paint. Okay. This will be our winter scene here. So we'll have a little bright spot in the sky so it's not too dull. All right. Now then, maybe we'll use a one inch brush. Maybe we have a little cloud up in the sky up here in this one. And a little cloud lives, there's a little titanium white. A little cloud just lives right here and floats around, has a good time, plays. There he is. Okay. A little bit more of that white. There, just make little circular patterns. Just, just enjoy it. Let it just sort of float around, have fun. There it is. Okay, we'll take a clean, dry, two inch brush. And we'll just sort of mix that up, stir it a little bit, using just the top corner, just blending a little bit so it sort of comes together. Then lift it, fluff it, there we are. 
clean brush, very lightly go across. And that easy. We have a happy little cloud living up there in the sky. Now then, shoot, let's have some more fun. We'll take some black, a little Prussian blue, and some alizarin crimson. Black, blue, alizarin crimson. Okay, cut us off our little roll of paint, as usual. And let's build us a little mountain. And a little mountain right here. There he is. Just however you want him. Maybe there's another little peak there that goes out. Now while we have that, let's do the same scene down here, only in winter. We'll do one in summer and one in winter. And they won't be exact, but we'll just have a basic idea here. There's our little mountain. We'll let it go right down through there. Sometimes we can use the same colors for both of them. And we had a little bump there. There we go. Scrape off all the excess paint. Just really get in there and scrape it. Now, take a clean two inch brush, grab that and pull it. Just pull it, let it move. There. Okay, and blend right out to nothing. Okay, now then, up here on this one, same thing. We wanna grab this and pull it. Just pull that color. Does two things, as you know, if you've painted along with us. Removes excess paint, makes the next layer stick much easier, and it creates this misty illusion down at the base of the mountain. All right, all right. Okay, now we can wash the old brush again. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Now then, I bet they'll be glad here this is the last show of this series. They'll probably take them a week to clean the studio up. Let's see, we'll take some, let's take some white, some midnight black, maybe the least little touch of dark sienna into it. There. Leave it marbled like that. Don't overmix it. Then cut across in our little roll of paint. And let's go up here on this little mountain. And let's just put in some nice little highlights up there. Barely touching the canvas, barely touching. Whisper light, whisper light. On some of the other series I've told about when I was teaching my son Steve to paint, I used to tell him just to pretend he was a whisper floating across the mountain. And it certainly must have worked. That little son of a gun can outpaint me now. Whew. Don't tell him I said that. He'll be wanting my job. There. And maybe right along in there. Clean off a little spot to work. We'll make a shadow color. We'll take some white, a little bit of Prussian blue, not much, very strong. Some black. And we'll make a very dark grayish color, but sort of to the blue side. There we go, nice. A little roll of paint again. And let's go right up in here and just put the indication of just a happy little shadow that lives up here in this mountain. And a little bit right in here. There's some more. A little bit back here. There's some. And we'll just sort of let that just go right on out into nothing. Right out into nothing. This is a very special series to me. The 20th series means there's 260 half-hour shows now. It's unbelievable that we've been able to accomplish that. And it's not, not something you do alone. There's a lot of very special people that have worked very hard to make this come together and to bring you these shows. There's Walt and Annette, my partners, they're always there and they always are very supportive and I appreciate all of their efforts and I'd like to publicly say thank you to both of them. They're very special to me. And my wife Jane, she hangs in there. It's hard to live with a crazy old painter, I'll tell you that. All right. But these people are very special to me. I'm going to just take a old two-inch brush here and tap a little, lift it up, blend it. 
like so. A little bit over here. There we go. And we just sort of let it just go right into nothing. Something like that. I'm gonna put a little more at the top of there. I don't care for the top. There, I like that better. Just break it up a little. Down here in this one, let's take some white. A little bit of the bright red in it, not much, just a little, just a little. And on this one, since it's winter, let's just use white, a little bit of bright red. Put them little rascals right in there. Shoom. There you go. Little touch back here, like that. And we use a little Prussian blue and white for a shadow. Come right in here, drop it in. See, there's the same basic idea, just using a different color. Then if you want to do the same thing we've done up here by putting some little little doers here and there, some little ridges and everything, you can drop those in too. There. Yeah, as I say, it's hard to believe there's 260 shows. Son of a gun. It's almost unreal. Unreal. And if you hadn't got to see all of them, and you would like to, of course I'm just assuming that you'd like to, give your station a call. Let them know. It's important that they know that you want to see them. And if you want to see them, as I say, just give them a call. The shows are certainly available to them. There we are. Okay, maybe I'll put a little touch of shadow right there behind that little peak. So, gotta have one there too. Now then, let's just take, <laughs> we'll take a little sap green, a little dark sienna, and grab some white here, whatever color we got, whatever. Okay, there we are. Making sort of a greenish color. Let's go right up here in this top one. Maybe there's a, a little footy hill that lives right back here. We'll just do a very basic little painting today, very simple. Very simple. This is a good one for you just to practice and have fun with. Don't want it to get too complicated. Not if we have to do two of them, especially. <laughs> there. Touch. Pull straight down. Straight down. We'll just turn that right into some reflections. Get a clean brush. Nice clean brush. Pull it down. And go across. And we have instant reflections. That easy. That easy. We'll take a little liquid white on the knife. Put it on the palette, pull it out very flat, cut across, and then we'll just take the knife and literally cut in a little water line here. Just cut it in. There. Okay, maybe a little touch more there. And we can see a little ripple here and there. Let's come down here in this bottom one for that. For that, I'm going to take a little touch of the lavender into a little white. Same lavender we made the mountain out of. Into a little white. And we'll make us a little footy hill on this one. Just a little tiny foothill. There. Okay, there it comes. Right there. Same thing though. Pull down to create that reflection and go gently across, gently across back to our liquid white. And we can use that just to cut us in a little water line. There. Okay, now sometimes it's neat. We can take a one inch brush. If you want to make this look like little distant trees, we'll start up here at the top. You can grab it and just lift upward. Little tiny short strokes work in layers. It'll create that illusion of little distant trees that are far, far away. Clean the brush a little bit. We can do the same thing down here on this winter one. No difference. Now then, time to really have some fun. Tell you what, let's do. Let me clear off the space to work here. I get carried away as big as this palette is. I fill it up with a lot of garbage. Take some black, some Prussian blue, We'll put some alizarin crimson in there, like that. Okay, let me clean off the old knife. 
Let's make us some little evergreen trees. Grab a fan brush, fill the brush full of color, just a lot of color, both sides. Let's do the ones down here in the winter scene first. And we'll have a nice little evergreen lives right here, or a big evergreen. Shoot, that rascal got big on us. But notice in the winter one, I use no green. Because if we're gonna have snow down here, the only thing worse than yellow snow is green snow. So we're not gonna use any green in these trees. There we go. I'll have him a little friend there. Tell you what, let's have a third one. I like I like little trees. Maybe this one sort of got a little little crook in him. This is a crooked tree. There. Now then. While we have that going, I'll just take a one-inch brush. This is predominantly blue though. That's the main color here. And let's go right in here. Maybe we'll have some little bushes that live right here. We just sort of let them move right on out. Like that. Like that, wherever you want them. Okay. Now, let's take same color. And I did this winter one first because I want to take the phthalo green that I have and add it right into that same dark color. And then in the summer trees, they'll have some green in them. Okay, we could use the same fan brush. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, we'll just fill it right up. A lot of color though. There we are. Okay, let's go back up here. Oh, let's see, old tree lives. Ping, about right there. Certainly does now. There we are. Just use the corner of the brush and off you go, like that. See there, the old trees live in there. You just have to sort of, you have to scare them out sometime. But they're in there, they live right in your fan brush. Right in the old fan brush. And we had a second tree, yep, right there. There he is. There we go. Right on down. And we had that little baby tree that was sort of leaning over. And he lives right about there. Okay, here he comes. Little guy. Little guy. Have to give him a name. Maybe maybe his name's Oscar. What the heck? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Just make up a little name and give him. Okay. Back to our one inch brush. And we had the little bush. Let's see, I'll make it close as I can to the one down below. Mm, had it coming all the way on out here like that. Okay, can do that. There. And then we'll just fill all that in. Just fill it in. All right. And off we go. Okay, now we'll take some white, a little bit of the dark sienna, we'll mix that together. There, cut across, get our little roll of paint, see, just cut across, there it is, right on the edge of the knife. And with that, we'll go right up here, we'll put the indication here and there of a little tree trunk, it just sort of hides out in the middle of this tree. We can even put a little in this winter scene too, it doesn't matter. It's smaller, you're not going to see as much though. And with a clean knife, you can just scrape through here, put all kinds of little sticks and twigs in your bushes. And 90% of these will be covered up when we put the highlight on. But here and there, people are going to see one or two. And they're going to think you work for days and days with your little one haired brush putting all those in. Shh. We don't tell them any different. That's our secret. There. You just raise the price of your painting a little bit and keep on going. All right. Wherever you think they should be. Now then, let's find let's find a nice one-inch brush here. Tell you what, maybe we'll use this one. Dip it in a little bit of liquid white. 
liquid white. We'll go right into some cad yellow. Be right back. Get a little sap green. Oh, that's nice. Pull that brush in one direction. Load a lot of color into the bristles. Look at the end. Look at all the paint is in there. That's what makes it work. Now, right up here, this nice summer scene. Let's put some little leaves on some of these bushes and stuff right here. A little yellow ochre, a little Indian yellow. Here and there, maybe even a little touch of the bright red. There. Okay. Get crazy. Here's a little green bush with red flowers. There. A little bit more. The sap green and ooh, there's a nice one. There's a nice one. And start working in layers. Layer. I tell you what, I tell you what, we need a way to get out there. Shoot, if you had a nice place like that, you'd have to get out there and catch a big old fish that lives out there. Let's take a little Van Dyke brown on the knife. There we are. And let's go right in here. And let's put the indication of a little path. Just a little path. We'll put a little brown down. So I say you'd have to have a way to get out here. A little bit of brown and white for the highlight. Let the paint break. Barely, barely touch the canvas. Just caress it. And then back to our one inch brush that has the, the highlight colors on it. A little green, a little yellow, Indian yellow, yellow ochre, all those nice colors. Load a lot of paint in there though. And right here, there it is. So by loading a lot of paint, you just barely have to touch the canvas. If you have just a little paint in there, you really got to sock it hard to try to get the paint to come out. And then it mooshes together. Uh, that's a word my son uses. It mooshes together and, and you end up with mud. And we're not looking for that. We're not looking for that. Tell you what, get a new brush for the one down below. We'll take white, liquid white, and we'll go into the titanium white. Be right back. I'm going to get the least little touch of Alizarin Crimson. Ooh, that's nice. Give it a little pinkish flavor. Let's go right up here. Now then we can come back in here and do the same thing, basically, using a little bit of the white. There. All right. But look at all those little doers, little snow-covered things. Now back to our knife. Take a little titanium white. We need a little path in there, too. But the same thing. You need something to go over the path. There. See, and it pushes it right down into the painting. Just like that. Now then, we'll take a fan brush, a little liquid white, a little titanium white, and a little touch of the phthalo blue. And with that, we'll come back in here, put the indication of some little highlights on these evergreen trees. There we go. Darker, darker, darker down toward the bottom, though. You know, one other group of people I would like to thank for making the joy of painting what it is. I think we have one of the best crews here of any PBS station in the nation, right here in Muncie, Indiana. And I'd like to thank all these people, the director, the producers, everybody, for making this such a success. Because without these people, there wouldn't be anything. I'm going to put a little green on the brush here. There. And not only are these people such fantastic people in television, they're also my friends. And they've become very special to me. Very, very special to me. There we go. Now then, let's just take, let's take a clean knife and here and there, I'll go back Scrape in some sticks and twigs down here in this nice little winter one. Same thing. Little twigs and sticks would still be there. They'd be a little colder down here, but they'd be here. Now then, tell you what let's do. I think we're to the point. Let's see if we can get all this off and see what we have. Now down here is just contact paper. Here's just a piece I had left over. We'll take that off. See, that was painted black. And we'll come right here. There. Well, that's a hard one to grab hold of. But we'll get it. Oops. Well, maybe it's going to come off. Maybe it's not. 
Let me grab the knife. Maybe I can get into it. Let's do this one. There. Take that off. And now there's some little pieces of tape right here that I want to take off. See, and I left that white. But you sort of have to plan this before you do it so you get all these little pieces of tape in the right place. And it'll make it look like there's a little border around here. There we go. See there? And it sort of looks like there's two paintings overlapping each other. And it's sort of different. It's, it gives it sort of a, almost like a graphic appearance. But it's very neat. Give it a try. I think you'll enjoy it. I think we'll sign that one. Or those, since there's two of them. Take a little of the red. And let's sign it right here. I really hope you've enjoyed this. It's a little different. I'm going to sign this one up here. We'll have two signatures on this one. I really hope you've enjoyed it. It's, it is a little different. And from all of us here, from the whole staff of the station, I'd like to wish you happy painting. God bless. I look forward to seeing you in the next series. Take care, my friend.